Hello everybody. It's about 5.45 a.m. and what we have here on this crisp Wednesday morning is a tetramorium swarm. Now, sometimes when tetramorium swarm, it's a uh, it's a tetramorium war where two unrelated colonies meet and they fight, but it doesn't look like it's a war. But I do believe that it's a nuptial flight. Now, I see a late here. See right there. They seem to be surrounding a late. But see, look, this Alate looks dead. And I do believe that's a queen. There's another one right there. Ah! There's another one up there. Just everywhere here. I had no idea that they fly this early in the morning. But to me it seems like they're grasping on to some of the elates. I'm not sure why. See like right there that here is oh this one's stuck okay so that's a dead one never mind they're not grasping onto dead ones they're not grasping onto the elites they're just it's just a dead one There's another dead one there. See, they're everywhere. Unbelievable. Tetramorium are flying. Now, if you guys haven't heard of the awesome Tetramorium contest, that's going on, you need to visit the Ants Canada website and go to the museum section where we talk about uh, a contest on winning a free pumice nest. The premise is simple, you have a year to grow a tetramorium colony as big as you can. See that? That's a male. You can tell this one here is a male because it looks more wasp-like. The thing that gives it away the most is the head. Look at the head of this one. Really, really tiny head. Let's see if we can get in close. Really small head. They seem to be coming from openings here in the brick. I had no idea they were living around here. Unbelievable. So, now that I know that they're flying this morning, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna try to scope the area for females, for queen elates. Now I'm here trying to look for mated queen elates just kind of walking around trying to find some queens I know what they look like because uh, 
caught one last year. Not this early in the year though, which is pretty cool. Um, I caught uh, my queen in July or August. But uh, I know they begin flying in May, throughout June and July. Now, uh, a lot of the times the queens can fly pretty far from the uh, point of origin. So I'm just going to walk around slowly, keeping my eyes to the ground. Hey! Pernalepis in Paris. Where's your queen? <laughs> I missed their flight this year. Have a look at these dead male elites. Chances are, these guys made it. And after fulfilling their life purpose, they've now croaked. Now, see how their head is tiny? They look more wasp-like. They've got a really, really tiny head. Here's some more Tetramorium. But they're swarming for a different reason here. They're eaten. Coming out from under here. Sorry. Seems like they love apple. So a few facts about Tetramorium caispidum, species E. They're actually an invasive species introduced um, to North America. They're native to Asia and they're pretty much everywhere in North America. A little scarce in some parts but uh, they can be found pretty much anywhere. Also known as pavement ants. Looks like we've got a wasp here. Oops, scoping me out. And a wasp is trying its best to locate some elate. A lot of times when ants fly, when the elates fly, it's a, a feast for predatory insects and animals. looks like this wasp knows that the ants were flying today. Now I managed to find two queens and it seemed like they were chewing off their wings. Um, found them wandering just around here. Don't know if they've been mated but I bottled them up just in case. Now if I find them walking around here, if I find Queen Elates walking around here, like there's a queen right there, um, chances are she's not mated. So, I, I, there would be no point in trying to uh, bottle her up. All right, well, I've been looking around for the past half an hour and I can't seem to find any queens. So, uh, I'm gonna kind of end my search now. There's Campanatus bensylvanicus. Um, and another Campanatus. Uh, but over the next little while, over the next few days, I'm gonna keep my eye open because, you know, the queens wander around in search of a suitable nesting site and uh, at which point I'll bottle her up 
you know, if they were flying here, chances are the Tetramorium are flying somewhere else. So I'll just keep my eye open everywhere I go, no matter where I go. And of course, I always will have some snap cap vials with me or test tubes with cotton. The snap cap vials are probably the safer item to have in the pocket. Um, of course, our store sells both. Very, very handy to have with you um, throughout the spring, summer, and fall. Because you just never know when you'll run into a queen. You'll never know. <laughs>